Hi guys, welcome to today's session at Rhinoboo. Today we'll learn how to use a toggle switch in Bubble. Before that, let me tell you what is a toggle. I'm sure you must have seen many switch buttons on different websites. Like in this case, here, this is our toggle button. When you switch it off, the text changes from employer to company. And when you switch it on, it changes back to employer. Even the details also change. Like in this case, enter company's name. And in this case, enter username. So in today's session, we'll learn how to use this toggle in our bubble. For that, let's go to our editor page. Let's first delete this group. And then we'll make. I've already made a login group in which we'll make a toggle and learn how to use it. So let's start. From our elements tree, Select better toggle. And then make it beside the text which you want to change. When you make a toggle, your element box for toggle will appear. Here you can change the name of your toggle or you can leave it as it is. You can even change the colors like active color, non-active color, button color. There are many features. So, let me show you how to change its color. You can even change the roundness of your toggle. Let's do it 20. See, now it has become round. Here the value of toggle is yes, which means by default your toggle will be switched on. Now let me preview it. Here is our toggle button. When you switch it off, it becomes green. And when you switch it on, it becomes blue. But for now, nothing is changing. Now we want this text to change as we move our toggle. So for that, we'll have to link it with the text. Click on this text company. Select conditional. Now we'll have to define another condition. When better toggle A is toggled, so when it is yes, like when this toggle is switched on, then select a property to change. We'll enter text, and when the toggle is switched on, we want our text to become employee. So let's write here. So in our condition, we have defined that when this better toggle A is toggled is yes then the text shown will be employed. Now, let's just preview. See, when it is switched on, it's employed. And when you switch the toggle, it becomes company. The text changes. But now, we want our details also to change accordingly. Like when we switch the toggle, then we want employees detail and we switch it off we want companies detail so for that let's see how we'll do that so here we have made two groups one for the login employee and another for the login company so we'll have to link it with our token so select our login company group We'll define another condition when better toggle is toggled is no because company name is shown when the toggle is switched off. So when the toggle will be no, then select a property. The element is visible. So when the toggle will be switched off, then this element will be visible. And when you check on this, it will be visible. So this we have done for group login company. Now we want to do the same thing for login employee. So select the group login employee. Here also define another condition. When this better toggle A 
is toggled is yes so when the toggle is yes then this will be visible so you can check on it to make it visible now let's preview and see if it works see when the toggle is switched on the text is employee and the details are related to employee enter username when the toggle is switched on the text changes to company and even the details also changes like enter company's name so this is how a toggle works i hope you understood and enjoyed the session don't forget to like and share our video and also subscribe our channel thank you so much for watching the video